All right, I'm hanging out with Long Beach State head coach and her first season interim head coach, Nally Regan. Uh, Nally, great to be with you today. Hey, Rob, thanks for having me. Let's jump right into it. I know that uh, this is going to be an exciting one for you, but the first question is that Long Beach State hosted the first ever Big West Women's Volleyball Championship. And how was it like hosting such a marquee event in your home venue? And how was it like for your staff, administration, and all your student athletes? It was amazing. Uh, we were so honored to be able to host that tournament for in its inaugural year it was a really big deal for us. So it was really important to us that we uh, did a good job with hosting and we were so thankful, you know, the Big West staff did an amazing job of making sure it was a flawless event. And uh, it was very, very exciting for us to have a packed pyramid playing Hawaii in the finals. Now you come into this season uh, being one fourth with one fourth of the Big West Conference being first year coaches. And then if you go on to uh, four years or less in their programs, it's half the conference. So <laughs> what are your thoughts on being one of the newbies in the Big West Conference? I'm honored. I'm honored to be a part of it. Um, we, uh, I think, you know, a lot of us are doing, we've been in the industry for a long time. And so there's a lot of familiar faces with the news, but it is something that we're really excited to get going and, and just hit the ground running. So a lot of uh, hungry energy in the Big West this year. <laughs> well, you're coming off that season as an assistant coach of uh, the 2023 Big West Championship runner-up team. But how do you uh, build on that momentum that you had playing in that championship match in front of a raucous, high-energy crowd? <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's exciting stuff. You know, we uh, we went through a big transition as a program this spring, and you know, I have to I have to mention the previous head coach did an incredible job of making sure that that transition was smooth, and you know, we were all in a good place, and so I'm really thankful for that. Uh, we had zero people in the transfer portal, and that is a really really big uh, feat for us, and. And I think that speaks volumes to the culture that the girls have built here. And so carrying that, you know, carrying that culture into this fall, but also just the hunger and that unfinished business that we have from last fall, we we have a miss it mission and we're ready to go get it. Yeah, I know you had a previous coaching staff uh, with a different, you said it's a culture, but is it the same? Is it a meld between what you've kind of factored in with your own ingredients uh, or is it staying uh, status quo from the last? Long Beach Volleyball for the most part is going to look the same. Um, you know, we have some developments that we've made as a group uh, within the training and things like that. But for the most part, we look the same. And I think that was something that uh, Bjarne Hus, you know, our associate head coach and I were here previously. And it was really, it was really important to us that we maintained that culture, and we had a really uh, great team meeting to start off in the spring and ask them, you know, what do you want this to look like? And so we're really trying to give the girls the reins as much as possible to make sure that they know, you know, it's their culture and their program too. So it looks uh, Long Beach Volleyball is going to look the same this fall. <laughs> well, yeah, it's as a new coach, so I need to follow up with. Uh, what kind of goals do you set for yourself in the program being that, you know, it's kind of a, I call it a smooth transition because you and the previous head coach are pretty much on the same wavelength yeah. all season. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really thankful for that. Um, and I'm tremendously thankful for our admin, you know, putting that faith in me and us as a staff and making sure that, you know, this program stayed in a stable place with that. Uh, so really, really grateful for all of that faith. But with that, you know, we do have some big goals, some lofty goals. Uh, we feel very hungry. We feel like we have unfinished business in the Big West from last year. So that uh, that match, although it was, you know, six months ago, eight months ago, it feels like it was just last week. And so we're really hungry to get back there and win the Big West this year. Well, pursuing that goal about getting back into the Big West championships, you return a lot of key important pieces and i want you to share about who those pieces are and obviously you've got you start off with the setter and zana meyer but it goes to lisa gee and a few others beyond that but you talk about how this team is going to look like veteran wise yeah we uh we return a lot so i think we return six out of our eight starters six out of our nine 
Um, we graduated four incredible seniors last year, and we are going to miss their leadership tremendously. Um, but they did such a great job of making sure that that baton was handed off well. So we have a lot of incredible leaders rising. Zaina Meyer will be at the helm of that, uh, running our show, and she's really excited to get her, her fourth season going here. Um, and then we also return Cameron Bacon in the middle. Uh, Elisa Gee and Abby Carrick are returning on the left side for us. And then uh, Lisa's is going through some knee stuff right now, so she's recovering from that. And then Natalie Glenn is also returning. And we have quite a few liberos back in our gym. So we've got quite a few returners that are exciting for us. And then um, some redshirt freshmen coming out of their, their redshirt year that have been training with us for a year. So we're really excited about this upcoming fall. Well, it looks like you have some great pieces to work with, but I need to also follow up with that question is, could you see some new faces on the court for the beach? Yes, absolutely. Um, a new faces in the sense that uh, they will be new to the big lights this fall, but not new to our program. Um, we have a few redshirt freshmen that will probably see a lot of time for us this fall. We have a uh, redshirt freshman, Sarah Bellucci, coming in from Michigan Legacy Volleyball Club, uh, incredible young woman. And then uh, redshirt freshman, Jada Harris, also from uh, Las Vegas, coming in from Top Flight Volleyball Club. And then we have a uh, true freshman, Maddie Maxwell, that is going through her spring season with us. So she's already been training with us for a few months. So we're really excited to see what this fall finds for them. Well, you've got a uh, pretty crazy non-conference schedule coming up. And as I was perusing your first few weeks at play, I'm thinking you're going through the gauntlet nice and early, but for our viewers and listeners, you start off the season with Oregon, Pitt, Washington, and Northwestern, just to name a few. Now there's more I could have mentioned, but what is the team philosophy and the coach's philosophy in entering the gauntlet? <laughs> Yeah, we want to be in it. We want to be playing the best. We want to be the best. Um, and so we don't want to shy away from that. And I'm really thankful again that our admins behind us on that because that's a big part of our philosophy as a program. Um, so it's something that we're leaning right into and was really important to us when we were going to schedule this year. So we, uh, I believe our average RPI in the preseason is 49. So our strength of schedule is pretty high up there, but we believe in our roster, we believe in our culture, and we're really excited to play the best in the nation. Hoping to get that upset of the number one team of the nation like in 2023. <laughs> yes, of course, we're always looking for a good upset, so. <laughs> well, Natalie, I appreciate your time here today, and I look forward to catching your beach team in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for taking the time, Rob. We'll see you on the floor. <laughs>